In this video, we will demonstrate how Zscaler Internet Access leverages CrowdStrike Falcon device posture to implement end-to-end, -end, zero trust access control to applications. For every device managed by CrowdStrike Falcon Endpoint Security, a zero trust assessment, or ZTA score, is updated constantly based on the changing device posture over time. An administrator for Zscaler Internet Access, or ZIA, can configure flexible access control policies based on predefined thresholds of the ZTA scores and other device profile information. In this example, we've configured three ZTA posture profiles that classify devices into high, medium, or low trust groups, depending on their minimum ZTA scores. These trust groups, in turn, are used by a ZIA policy for device posture-based conditional access control. When a device's ZTA score is a minimum of 75, we consider this a high-trust scenario, and URL filtering allows access to the application. When the ZTA score is from 74 to 65, we consider this medium trust. The access policy is configured to allow access only via Zscaler Cloud browser isolation. The endpoint receives a pixel-based stream of a web page or app, not the active content. This provides an extra layer of protection without impacting user experience. When the score is less than 65, we block the access in this low-trust scenario. To do this, we first need to define the device postures with the three ZTA score thresholds. From the ZIA Admin Console, click on Policy, then Client Connector Portal. Next, select Administration, and then Device Posture. For the first threshold, we've entered a ZTA minimum score of 75 for the Windows platform. Similarly, we do the same for the second device posture threshold with a minimum score of 65 and the third with a threshold of 50. These will be referenced later when we configure the ZIA Posture Profile, which specifies the evaluation criteria for the access control policies. Under ZIA Posture Profile, we've created a ZIA Posture named CrowdStrike ZTA-based ZIA Posture Profile. By clicking the Edit button, we can define three levels of trust based on the minimum ZTA scores we defined previously. Other evaluation criteria can also be added into these trust levels. These device trust levels are evaluated from top-down when policy is applied. Multiple ZIA posture checking profiles can be created. So, to specify which posture profile should take effect, we'll click App Profiles. Here, we've set up a new app profile named CrowdStrike App Profile, in which, among other things, We've selected the CrowdStrike ZTA-based ZIA Posture Profile we just configured. Lastly, let's set up a Traffic Enforcement Policy to define what action should be taken if one of the conditions are met in our ZIA Posture Profile. From the ZIA Admin Portal, we'll click Policy, and then, under the Access Control section, URL and Cloud App Control. Here, we've configured three URL filtering rules in a top-down order. As you can see, in the high-trust scenario, when device trust meets high-trust criteria, access is allowed for the file host URL category. We've also configured two other rules to display caution for medium trust and block access for low trust. Beyond URL filtering rules, we can also define what a user can do with files. In the Admin Portal, click Policy and then File Type Control. From here, we see that for different levels of trust, we can control user actions to allow or block file uploads and downloads. Now, let's see how these policies are implemented. Here, we have a Windows PC in the High Trust Group with a ZTA score greater than 75, and the CrowdStrike App Policy Profile is in effect. The user goes to Google Drive to access FileShare, and since the device falls under the High Trust level, the user is able to access the Google Drive site. They can also download an executable file, as expected. Now, let's look at what happens when the same user tries to perform the same tasks, only with their device score at the Medium Trust level. When they try to access Google Drive, a warning message pops up. When attempting download of the executable, they also encounter a warning, as expected in our policy. 
Finally, let's see what happens if the same user uses a low ZTA score device that falls into the low trust level. Or a more common situation might be that the same device was used, but its security posture has fallen. When the user tries to access a file sharing site like Google Drive and download an executable file, access is fully blocked according to our URL and file control ZIA policies. To recap, Zscaler ZIA is able to enforce different policy rules for the same user based on the changing trust level of the device provided by CrowdStrike, reducing attack surface and making it easy and flexible to implement zero trust access control. Thank <laughs> you.